boys and girls, this week you may have gotten a worksheet that looks like this. So you can pick one. I'm going to pick the girl and we are going to look at her face, okay? When we look at people's faces, we can tell how they are feeling. So if you look at her face right here, do you think she's sad? Does she look sad to you? Or does she look angry? If you look at her mouth, it's going up like this. And if you look at her eyes, her eyes, do her, do her eyes look sad or angry? No, I think she looks happy. Cause look, her, her mouth is going up like this. Her eyes look happy. See, just like this. I look happy, right? Just like her, she looks happy in this one. And let's go over to this one. Does she look happy in this one? Her mouth is going down. And if you look at her eyes, do they look happy? If your mouth goes down like this, do you look happy? Do I look happy? No. I think she's sad. See, our mouth goes down and we're sad. But if our mouth goes up, then we're happy. And how about that one? So this one, her mouth goes down. And you see her eyebrows are up a little bit. Do you think she looks happy, sad, angry? So if your mouth goes down and you go like that, do you look happy? Do you look sad? No, I think, I do I look angry? Yes. And this one, she looks angry. You can see her face. She does not look happy. And how about that one? If you look at her mouth, it's not going up or down. And you see her eyes? Do I look happy when I do that? Or what do I look like? So if my face looks like this, it looks like she's scared. You see, you can tell by her face that she's scared because her mouth is different, her eyes look different. It's different from this one. And this one, she looks angry, and in this picture, she looks scared. Now let's go down to this picture. This one kind of looks like, her mouth is kind of open, like the scared one, right? But if we look a little bit closer at her eyes, do her eyes look scared? Look at her eyebrows. They don't look like that. They're kind of like this, kind of like a rainbow, kind of. So if we look at her face, she's like, like that. Do I look scared? No, I look surprised. Like if you got a surprise party for your birthday and your mom says, oh, we have a, we have a surprise for you. And you go see, and you're like, oh my gosh, you're so surprised. And that's how she looks like. She looks surprised. And the last one, she's like, just like that. If you look at her, at her mouth, it doesn't go all the way up and it doesn't go all the way down. And her eyes are nice. They don't look scared or angry. She looks like, just like that. And it looks like she's proud. She's proud of herself. She said, kiss my brain. I'm so smart. I'm so proud of myself. Or I'm so proud. I did all my homework. She's proud of herself. Okay, so now we're going to put this down. And I hope you guys learned that if you guys look at people's faces, you can tell. Like when you see um, us in the classroom, me, Miss Vang, or Ms. Amora, I always say, hi. If you look at our face, we're happy to see you. We're not scared or angry. We're happy. See, our mouth goes up and our eyes, they open up a little bit more because we're happy to see you. So now we're going to uh, play this game, okay? So if you go to the other page, it only has one, two, three uh, feelings on here. And this side, what happened to this side? We don't have anything here. So we're going to match it up. So you're going to get this paper with all the feelings that we just uh, went over. And we are going to look at this one and we're going to match it up. What does this space look like? Does she look happy, sad, scared? angry she is happy so i am going to find the happy face and i'm going to cut it out so for that first one which picture matches that one is it that this is it that one is it that one or is it that one i think it's that one so i'm going to cut that one out where her mouth is up and she's smiling
so I'm going to get my glue stick and where does it go? Does it go there? Yes, it goes right there next to the happy face. How can we tell that she's happy? Because her her um, mouth is up and her eyes are nice and happy and she looks happy. So now I am done matching it. So I glued it next to the happy face. And what about that one? Her mouth is open and her eyes are big and wide. So is it that feeling or that feeling? Or is it that one? It is the last one because her mouth is open and her eyes are wide. So let's cut out that one and glue it next to the other filling that matches it. Do you guys remember how your face looks like when you are feeling surprised? Remember when you're feeling surprised, your mouth opens wide and your eyes open big and wide too. So let's match it next to the surprise one. And remember how you feel when you are feeling surprised, how your face looks like. And we have one more feeling to match. So let's see, which feeling is that? Do you remember what, your, what feeling that is when your face looks like that? When your mouth is down and your eyebrows are down and your eyes are a little squinted together? Remember, that is your angry face. So when you feel angry, your face changes and it kind of looks like that. So let's cut it out and get our glue stick and glue it next to the angry face. Now we're all done matching it up. So you see I have my happy face like this and I have my surprise face like that. And here is my angry face. I'm not happy. Oh yeah, and we matched it all. And we're all done. So we have one more thing to do. Um, so you're going to have another one like this. And this paper, if you feel it, if you use your sense of touch, you can see that it's a little bit heavier than the matching one that we did, okay? So you're going to save this heavier paper and we're going to cut it, all the faces out and put it on popsicle sticks. Kind of like how we did the beer. And we are going to use it for our Zoom and we're going to talk about um, our feelings in our face. So we're going to cut it out like this. Oh, I'm going to use the girl one because I am a girl. this one out and I'm going to get my popsicle stick and put it in the back just like that and I'm going to use tape to tape it just like how we did the bears and just like that so I'm going to do this to all the pictures so I'm going to cut all the um, pictures out and I'm going to put them all on popsicle stick just like this okay see I just taped it and I save it so we can use it for our zoom okay I'll see you guys next time bye